up thanks well after that devastating earthquake that shook haiti three years ago a lafayette woman is working to change the lives of orphan children near port au prince megan boudreau of lafayette moved to gracier haiti which is about 30 miles west of port au prince to build a school and with the help of thousands of generous donors from around the world boudreau was able to make that school a reality as our Akeem ashford reports tonight it's helping hundreds of students there get an education on her first missions trip to Haiti, Megan Boudreaux knew she wanted to help the people in the region. The first time I visited Gracier, Haiti, which is now where I live, um, I went up to Bellevue Mountain and um, saw a little girl throwing rocks at a bird, and she said that she was hungry and she was going to eat the bird. In Haiti, half a million children are Restivex, or child slaves. At 24 years old, Boudreaux started Respire Haiti, hoping a better education will help lift them out of poverty. We started the school in a one-room um, church, actually. We had 97 kids, and I would venture to say about 50% of the kids in Haiti do not go to school or don't go to a school that really is the school. Around this single tree, Respire Haiti was born. Respire, which means to breathe, has grown into 14 classrooms with more than 500 students. This November, the school will open a medical facility. Our staff and their family will have uh, medical insurance through our medical clinic. And so we're hoping to do as much education as we are actually serving the families. And so Optometrist Dr. Patrick McGee will go to Haiti next month with a goal of seeing every student at the school. Not only are we going to serve the indigent, the poorest of the poor, but we're helping children better their lives. McGee says the work Boudreaux is doing is something very few can claim. Megan is making a difference in the lives of hundreds, if not thousands, of people. And how many of us can go through life and be able to make a comment like that? In Lafayette, Akeem Ashford, KATC, TV3. And a couple of notes here. The school employs more than 150 people, and Boudreaux and her husband have adopted two girls and are in the process of adopting two more children.